straight in. Now this is supposed to be set in like old England as a retired botanist. Um, Arabella Green, I believe her name was. 1890, Botany Manor, Summer Rest, set. Almost said Summer Rest. Just swap the letters around. Oh, we're straight in. Yeah, it was meant to be this haze. Just the sun coming through. A quick look. Take away bloom. A bit better, I didn't really do much. Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I hope you've had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated. Though I can assure you, we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today. Bennett. Okay. A parcel from two Arabella Green, Botany Manor, Summer. Forgotten flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Oh, where we have written a book. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you have completed your research and we'll be in touch with potential offer. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Okay, so we haven't actually written the book yet. That's okay, all books need to be written at some point. This would be how we do it. Actually, I should have seen... Okay, well, I don't know if I can reopen that up. But let's see if there's anything else in here before we head out of here. Is the game loud enough? As soon as someone is able to tell me, it'd be very nice to know. I don't want to leave you guys in a barely able to heard thing. A fresh start. Okay new plant added. How do I open up the journal? What does this say? Hang on. Oh, look. Okay, open and close to tab. Okay, there we go. Gordon Flora, researched and compiled by Arabella Green. Mayflower Publishing House, 1890. We've got maps and chapters. There's five chapters in total. Maps. Gatehouse, conservatory, driveway, entrance garden, long... Edge grow orchid. Okay, so it's not a very big thing. Vestibule, flower room. Okay. Windmill wart. Anemone februa. I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory, but I'll need to research its temperature requirements first. Clues. I haven't filled in all the right clues for this plant. Okay. Seed packet location conservatory. Okay, so it's smoky in here, not because it's a thing, but I've got to clean something up. Okay, let's have a look. Oh god. Okay, I've got a seed. That's so cute the way it uh, um, pulls it up. Okay, potting instructions. Place a pot on a saucer, add soil, plant a seed, water the seed. Okay, so we got one already. Let's put some of that. Plant the seed. Water the seed. Nice. Okay. What now? Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, listen to that. Have a look around, shall we? What is this? Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. I can barely see. Horse bus drivers refuse to work in these conditions. Okay. We have something here. Postcard from Marianne. 
Dear Arabella, on my hike I came across the windmill wort, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me the flower has an air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help you with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Marianne. To Lady Arabella. Okay. Have a look. Important clues get added to the herbarium where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck tracking clues, you can help organize and validate your research. Um, postcard. What else is there? Oh, you aren't kidding about the smog. Okay, let's see. Ideal soil temperatures for Mediterranean flowers. Grass flowers, meadow flowers, coastal flowers, volcanic flowers, woodland flowers. Okay, it's Sicily, so we need it could be anywhere between 30, 20, 30, 60, and 25. What did that say? Hey, let's have a look. Wildflowers is a okay, so windmill wort is a volcanic flower. Okay, that's okay. So we need to make sure. What do we say? Volcanic. So we need to have it at 60. So can we add those ones in? We can. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the basic premise of how the game will work. Wrong button. Just give me one second. I'm just pulling something up. There we go. Okay. So let's go put that to 60. Sixty. There's something else. Oh. I just wait. Do I? Oops! I didn't mean to do that. Can we move you somewhere? Hmm. I don't want to jump you. Volcanic. Volcanic is at 60 in Sicily. Oh. Ah. Okay. There we go. I should do something now, right? What's that? Oh, let's put it here. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, look at that. It's growing! Oh, pretty! My first baby. Oh, look. There we go. That's better. Oh, wow. I can see now. Oh, and the game just crashed. What happened then? Okay, that was weird. Okay, Anemone Febura, the windmill wort naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The bud contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. Well, that was weird. I don't know what happened then. It's so pretty. What do I do with it now? Okay, um... Well, let's go check out some more areas. Is there anything else in here we can look at now that it's open? I think I can see. Other than the one we read. Alright. Well, let's go check out the rest. So pretty. I don't want to miss anything, so we're going to make sure we look around. See if there's anything we can pick up. I can sit. I have no idea what we look like. We don't have a body, apparently. Drawing from nature. Can I open it? Apparently not. The song sounds broken. <laughs>
Oh, we're in a new area. What a gorgeous place. That's terrifying. Don't do that to me. I didn't hear you. Mm. Welcome home. Look how pretty this is. What? No. This is a game that I did want to play though. It was on the list of the games I was looking out for this year. Got Botany Manor. Okay, that looks like to the front entrance. So where does this go? Exit? Yes. What any manner? Home of the Green family. I don't know what the bell did. Currently busy research. Currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Oh, sorry. Arabella. Okay, so someone's gonna ring the bell when something gets delivered for me. Hey, a key. Entrance garden. Okay. Thank you for the hug. This is the first time someone has used the command in chat. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing I was supposed to go there and not... Like, we, we, we just... We saved ourselves some time going to the, um, the front gate rather than coming straight here. We needed the key. Oh, look at that. Have a look in here, shall we? Your earphones are on my side if you're looking for them. Cane. Okay. I don't know why I'd want to zoom on that. Okay. My dear friend, good luck on your trip. I would have loved to join you like in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice when we next meet. I will never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you take the authority of others. Whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see it for ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I am inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. This is from Clover Gardens, April 1889. Nice. Clover Garden. Well, we're all botanists, I would assume most of our places will be called stuff. Where do you lead? Orchid. Okay. Can I go in there yet? No. Okay, I'm gonna need to go... Is there anything else out here we can't look at? What about this side? Imagine living in a place like this. Can I climb here? I cannot. Oh, there's a... I did not even see over here. Oh. I would love to even visit a place like this. This would be a really nice place to go and, like, rest. Will I get an achievement for sitting in all the chairs? <laughs> Clover Gardens wasn't their name. Clover Gardens was the name of the garden. <laughs> Okay. You open? You don't. What are you for? Locked from the other side. Okay. Yeah, no, Clover Gardens is where they were. Well, I would probably need a key to unlock it. I should just climb through that. Took the long way around, but we're going up to the front door now. Do you need a key? I like this little closed in front entrance. I can do gardening right at my front door. Nice. Okay, is there anything of interest? Should I have brought. Yeah, look, let's sit in the chair. Should I have brought my other plant with me? I think it should be fine where it is. 
My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. Thought of you in the bustling city working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. Time is a dean past and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavours. I look forward to hearing about your progress and of course let me know what I can of, uh, when I, how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Surely. <laughs> Hopgood Household, July 1890. I wonder how old we are because we're a retired botanist. Come home. To like the family home. Ooh. The five is in adversity. What a pretty place. New plants. Two new plants. Chapter one, clues. Yep. We have Fulguria. Ulex Fulguris. I came across the Fulguria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. Okay, we need five clues for this one. The staircase has a thing. Yeah, and I this was I was at 1890. What is what year did it say it was? It's just 1890. We have an ash plume. Lilium vivic Vivificum? Vivificum? This might be a tough case to crack. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clues. And we get that in the rose garden. We'll look more. Okay. Well, let's start by looking here, shall we? This is the family tree. We have John Green and Ursula Pengilly. And they had Richard, Mary, James. Well, they had Richard. Richard married Mary. We have Theodore Green. He doesn't have a death date, which means they're still alive, right? Augustus Green, Adelaide Pendleton, A Adelaide, Adelaide, Agnes Eliza Pendleton, Henry Goodfellow, Arthur Elizabeth Ann Green, Arabella Mary Green, William Henry Goodfellow, Thomas Goodfellow. So my, okay, they're my, these ones are my cousins. Elizabeth and Arthur are my, no, Elizabeth is my sibling, Arthur is my um, brother-in-law. I'm Arabella, I'm Arabella Mary Green, born in 1835. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. We are just shy of 60. Right? 60 and I've got no kids. I mean, not that everyone needs to have kids. It's 1890 then you're 55, yeah. Lady Arabella Green, I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete, carefully tracing the history of your lineage. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family rather than their current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. Yours, Robert Hinchley. Genealogist. I am not sure. I don't think I'll go too long. I kind of want to... I'm exhausted. My left eye has been sort of numb, which is a very weird thing to say. I could not see very well earlier. So, I mean, this is only a short game as is. But I, I'm not going to go too long. I was going to play those who remain and get it finished, but some of the stuff in it is kind of dark and with everything that's been happening, you know, it just didn't feel right. What a tree. Okay, let's have a look around. Is there anything I can do? I have something here. Great Western Railway. R railway? Not Railway. Taunton to London Paddington, issued for return journey, first class, elderly discount applied, 9th of July, 1890. Okay. That's our luggage, I'm guessing. That's our seeds for the Fulguria. It's pretty how we get to see what the seeds look like and then as it grows. Well lit photograph. Okay. Dark photograph. 
blurry fl photograph. Okay. Oh, there's stuff on it. Camera. Sorry. Camera experiment one. Tenth of the fifth, 1890. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. Picture looks a little blurry though. I'll have to investigate the camera settings. What do these say? Oh, that's number three. Let's do first. Three, this one first. Then. Camera experiment two, 12th of the 5th, 1890. I'm very pleased with this picture. Looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera. Camera experiment three, 13th of the 5th, 1890. This picture is so dark, impossible to see the flower. I can't believe how quickly I have run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. I just imagine how hard it would have been to have to actually have stuff to make flash work. Oh look, we've got sulfur, potassium, magnesium, phosphor, sodium, titanium, zinc, and barium. And a beaker. Chemical disposal. Candles, we don't have a figure at all. The art of painting. Oil and fresco. I'm not going to touch any of them right now. We don't know what they're for. Okay. Imagine trying to like set up for this many people and entertain this many people at once. Like often. Botanical folk tales. Some ancient Celtic tribes practice a coming of age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods, though not just any flower, of course. The gatherer had to find a fulguria. This flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms, keeping a cool head when lighting when keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you. It's considered the ultimate test of courage. Okay. So we need to make sure we have a flash. So we're going to have to work out how to make the flash powder stuff. Keep looking around, shall we? Arabella and Elizabeth. This is me and my sister. I think one of those. See your new lumen photograph. Photographic flash lamp. Instructions. Fill the container with flash powder. Close the container. Press the button connected to the camera and the lumen flashlight. Witness a bright flash. Better results guaranteed. There are instructions on it. No. Not for how to make the stuff anyway. Just how to set it up. Key. Key for what? Back terrace. Lady Arabella, these past weeks I have been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely, as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Farmer Charles. <laughs> Poor cow. Flash powder, okay. Got flash powder. Empty though. Made in bath by Pilkin and Sons. Okay, bottle contains 57 grams of flash powder, chemical composition, potassium and magnesium, 2 to 1 ratio. Okay, well there we go. Um, let me just press the right button. We need the flash powder bottle. We need the... This one. This one. This one. And this one. Nice. <laughs> I'm afraid that cows will never not be that. Nice. That sounded teenier than I was expecting. Alright, let's go back. I don't know if we can go upstairs. Let's have a quick look. We're not in a rush. We can have a explore. I don't think we need to do anything up here yet, but it's not going to hurt. Ooh, library hall. Can I go in here? At least can. Okay, I can't go in there. Okay, so I have to do this first. I do like a game that makes it obvious when you need to do stuff first before you can do others. It's a really pretty game. It's very serene. Like, it's, it's cozy. I like cozy games when you need to just sort of breathe. 
Dartmoor all the year round. Home to breathtaking sights. Houndtour, Winsman's Wood, Becky Falls, the Dartmoor line. Okay. Kitchen. Locked. This house is massive. Pyrophiles. Fire has the potential to be among the most devastating forces in nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent, wield, and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain species in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. In areas where forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learnt to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Facts about pyrophiles. Their seeds typically possess tough shells. Some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke or ar aromes from the natural habitat. I don't think I've ever seen the word of Rome's. Not like that. I've... Oh, I got the... this one. But why do I need the back terrace? Locked. Wow, look at that. Oh, damn, I can't stand on it. No, it was a Rome's. Garden out here too. Guessing we should really decide on where we want to garden depending on what we're making or what we're growing. Hmm, sandwich. What did you think of the pasta? Another book. Flowering plants of Great Britain. Anne. Anne. Pratt? Pratt? Pratt. Oh, I'm sorry. There's more um, in the pot if you want to have some more. Seed log. A summary of some seeds I've gathered this year and the location I found them at. Cow, parsley, black, ta black downhills, poppy, cheddar gorge, buttercups, sturt marshes, ash plum, wispman's wood, wood anemone, holford comb, wild thyme, culpin wood, and foxglove ford abbey. Okay. That is a seed. Oh, I got the plumes seed as well. I don't know if that's right. But I'm guessing it's going to be something to do with fire. That's the point of that. We won't go too far this way. My dear friend Arabella, a friend of mine visited the Americas and brought back a, fair, a pair of fabulous grey squirrels. They are the latest trend in garden decoration. All of my neighbours have sent, them, sent for them as well. It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family and my garden is full of the darling little creatures. One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. How odd. You must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. Ever yours, Grace. Oh, cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm sorry there wasn't a lot of garlic bread. I decided to only cook one of the loaves. Thursday. Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. Lady Arabella may not be best pleased with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took years to be sorted. She's so scatterbrained, always off on her fancy research trips. <laughs> Shopping list. Flour, egg, milk, leeks, potato, carrots. This is Hazel Patterson, the kitchen guy. And that is the key for the kitchen. Nice. Okay, well, we should... We should head back. I don't think we can go this way, can we? we yeah, no. Alright, let's go back and do the... Whatever the first one was. I already forgot the name of it. Where did that come from? Oh. Yeah. Painting. Okay. So I need to make the flash stuff. So back. Where do I find the stuff though? Can I reread it? Q. How I how I see. I can reread it again. Hang on. Yes, yeah. 
What did I say? I need potassium and magnesium. Two points uh, potassium, one point magnesium. Okay, potassium. One, one. And magnesium. Do I put it on fire? Nope, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Wait, it doesn't say I need to put it on the fire there. supposed to do with you there I can't pick that up no thank you someone trying to promote where am I meant to put this thing maybe I'll just put it straight into this ah oh, yeah okay let me close it we need to go do the plant first before we um flash. Oh, where did I see that closest one? It was here, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. So soil. And we want Bulgaria. Pretty. Okay, now we get you. Put you in place. We're gonna scare the crap out of you. Oh, look at that. That was very cool. Garden flora. Bulgaria only grows during thunderstorms, where the flashes of lightning provides the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. Look, I got a picture. I want some way to display all my things, though. I needed to put it here. Let's just leave you there. Okay, um, go do the other one now. We had the key for the kitchen. Where was the kitchen again? Probably not this way. Where was the kitchen? This way, yes. Feels weird, the, the, um, the dining room being so far from the kitchen. Oh, look at this kitchen. Okay, we got a bunch of weights. Here's symbol. It's a very nice one. That's a that's a sheep or a, a goat. Else in here, other than the weights. Blessed in this kitchen by grace and holy light, may all those who enter find comfort and respite. Blessed in the heath. With laughter and with cheer, may the love shared here be held forever dear. To those who serve the Lord, who seek the sanctuary, remember the year of construction, for this friends is the key. 
gift by Nicholas Owen. So we need to know when the building was. I'm guessing that's the, um, the clue for something. Yeah, I wonder if that's for the thing upstairs. Hazel's priceless recipes for the home, farm, workshop, and every department of human endeavor. Perth? Roasted chestnuts. This is a simple recipe, perfect to warm those cold winter nights. You can use the edible chestnuts that are easily foraged. The main difficulty with chestnuts is that they have a tough shell, but luckily they're easy to crack open with the help of fire. Simply place the nuts in a pan above the fire and wait until you hear a pop. This means that your chestnuts are nicely roasted and ready to eat. I'm guessing we need to pop the um the cell the the seed shell. I've never had chestnuts myself either, I don't think. A hearth? I thought it was hearth. History of Dartmoor, given by a resident natu natural natural history professor. The professor will present how the moor was once covered in majestic forests and woods, how early settlers came to the area and cleared most of the trees for pasture using fire as their method of choice. It promises to be a fascinating story of how the moon of the moorland we know and love today came into his existence. Dear Lady Green, we received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences, along with your enclosed drawings. We do not at present and have never admitted women to study at the college. Botany is a serious science conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, continue to pursue your hobby, hobby trending to your garden and domestic space where it may be appreciated. Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilized in a career in botanical experimentation. Therefore, with all politeness, we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken up by genuine academics. Signed, Professor John R. Tringham. What an asshole. I feel like I'm supposed to, to roast the, um, the seeds. Can I go out here? I wonder if this is like a, a breakfast spot. To someone special. Dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. Warm regards, Mr. Bennett. How cute! The ancient oaks stand tall in Wistman's wood. Covered in moss, they withstood the test of time. Though none can tell the sorrows that did be befell those trees in Wistman's wood. Ducky. Oh. Hmm. I'm not sure what this holds for our. Oh, we got birch logs, cherry logs, maple, and oak. Chapter 4 Home Smoking and Curing. Using the home smokery, the type of wood to use in your smokery is of great importance, though which one to pick depends entirely on your personal tastes and preferences. Burning wood from different types of tree produces different smoke aromas. This is due to different chemical compositions in each type of smoke and has a great impact. Good evening! How are we doing? This is due to different chemical compositions and each have a type of smoke and has a great impact on the flavor of your smoked food. So in summary, choose your wood's logs with care. Probably not, to be honest. Not with all the, the doctor's appointments and stuff we've been having to do. I'm okay. We've had to do a bunch of different changes in how we handle space. That's sausage. Yum. I... I'm trying not to speak too loud or do much screaming at the moment because I have been having trouble with my voice. I am losing my voice. Mm. 
behavior has been a bit of an issue for us lately, so just trying, trying our best, you know. Yeah, look at that. I didn't. Spectacles. Look at that. I did. How did I miss the glasses then? Yes. How has has the the week been so far for yourself? It is definitely a trial and error, especially with kids with you know higher needs. You know, stuff is constantly changing. But that's a three-letter word. I go there. What has it got to do with the poems on the wall? Oh, I didn't see these. Arabella's parents. Okay, where was... Where was the other one? It was over here, wasn't it? Yes, it looked. I got a key for somewhere, didn't I? No, I used it. Ah, uh, but... We have any more? Cooking book, lecture, poem. I mean, there is one more somewhere. Hmm. Look at that. Ready? Ash plume is what I'm making. It's Wisman's wood. What did it say about Wisman's wood before? Like making sure nothing got missed. It's definitely unlocked. That's also locked. Hmm. Must be something I have missed. I climb through the window. Cannot. So there should be something in here then I've missed. Okay. Look there. I already read that one. Saw that one already. Something in the kitchen that I missed. The hard thing is, is that a lot of the, the stuff that Stace is doing is it's rubbing off on Jen as well, so she's kind of just copying her. I need to know what was the logs. God. Ancient oaks. Okay, so I need to use oak for whisman. Oak. Oops. Not sure what I'm smoking, but I'm going to put them in anyway. I don't know if I need to use more than one. They burn down after a while. That's okay. I am a hub hub hub. Oh, there's more pages. Oh, I had it. Okay. So I'm guessing I need to crack the thing on fire. Would I crack it on this, maybe? No, nice. smoking it, maybe not. We can try and plant it. We'll have a look doesn't work then we can try again. Where was there one? Uh, go to this one here. Okay, yes, yeah, that's what I thought. I feel like I need Can I... Do I need to crack it first? Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Nice! Okay, and I'm guessing I would need to then... Put it in here and smoke it. Because they grew because of fire. Burn! Alright, did that work? It did! Nice! The flowers so far are very interesting. Nice. The ash plume is a pyrophile, evolved to survive harsh forest fires. Its seeds crack open with extreme heat, and afterwards, the oak smoke from its habitat, Wisman's Wood, would indicate it's safe to bloom. Let's, let's make sure we bring our flower in. Oh, someone's delivered something. Let's go! The, the music when it does play is very pretty as well. I was looking at what to play when I um, got all the computer on. Oh, look, there's a die, another duck. Okay, it's not that exciting. Uh, I was, yeah, I was looking for something to play when I hopped on to get ready for stream and I saw that it came out today and I was like, oh, that's awesome. We, you know, we can, like, straight up check it out. Oh, we got a key for the orchid. Okay. Is that everything? Okay, dear Lady Green, we are pleased to deliver a new key for your orchid gate. We hope you are enjoying the gate. Don't hesitate to visit us again, should you need further metalwork or decoration for the manor. Sincerely, John Baggage. Babbage, not baggage. Where is the orchid again? It's around one of these sides, wasn't it? Is it over here? It was the orchid this one was. Yes, okay, I was right. Pe peculiar petals. Two new plants. Let's have a look, shall we? We have pixie tears. This flower is closely associated with orchids. I wonder why. He must. And we have Wolf Glove, Capanella Melodia. What was that? Oxalis Phasma. This small flower has long tubular petals. How interesting. Okay, let's have a look around then. Dear niece, I have gathered a selection of my terrish toys and books. Among them, my beloved piggy. I highly recommend the nursery rhymes. They are charming as well as educational. So I'll take no offence should they put your little one straight to sleep. With all my affections, Auntie Arabella. Ah, that's me. The wolf glove. High on the mountain tops, so steep, grows a flower that heart that's hard to keep. Its petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistles as they try to find their way amidst the snow and reach the summit cheeks aglow. So it needs to be cold. <laughs> With every step they hear it loud, the wolf gloves howl, clear and proud, guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. Unless it's just got to do with the wind whistling. We have tried white noise. We've tried pink noise, was it? At one point, and brown noise. So like, like, not monster trucks, but like, proper like truck simulator, you have to deliver, you know, trailers, yeah? That's what, that kind of one? Okay, we need to find the seats as well. Red Campion. Fox Glove, it's the one I wanted. Primrose, so we need. Oh, not you. Not you. Pixie Tears is that one. That one. Yeah, there's a fair few different ones. 
I used to play a, a truck game. It was nice. I was not very good at it. Yeah, they're, they're just different things. Chloroplast. In the world of plants, the sun is the ultimate source of energy. Chloroplast, small organelles inside of the cells of a plant, are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis. However, not all plants have photo uh, chloroplasts. Some plants rely on organic matter for the energy and do not photosynthesize. They have lost their chlo uh, chloroplasts over time and have instead adapted to obtain energy by absorbing sugars through their roots. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating this particular plant. So, okay. Hong Kong trucks. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure that was for willow lodge rowan park lady arabella thank you for inviting me to botany manor last monday as a historian i found it wonderful to see an authentic medieval manor especially one as beautifully as yours a beautiful as yours i apologize again for not being able to locate the priest's hole in your house although i am convinced it exists and we will find it one day won't be easy, they tend to be hidden well and sometimes require elaborate mechanisms to be opened. Kind regards, Professor Pennyworth. We we haven't really listened to anything going to sleep lately, which is weird because like for a very long time I needed the sound of someone speaking, not music, but someone speaking to get me to sleep. I mean, and I got to a point where I couldn't hear it anyway over Rob snoring as it got worse with the, you know, sleep apnea that we kind of just gave up because it was either I had it so loud that it was just the house was very loud or I gave up an illustrated history of England for scholars advanced classes and the discerning reader priest holes what a thing <laughs> this is like a really bad name for a glory hole <laughs> back in the middle ages during the reign of Queen Elizabeth all Catholics were persecuted by law Therefore, some households built secret rooms in case they needed to hide a priest that visited, that was visiting their family home. Many of these so-called priest holes were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. Only the owner of the house, Nicholas himself, knew about their location. Because of this, it is thought that there may be many undiscovered priest holes throughout England to this day. <laughs> what a name for it! Oh, it opens up more. Heritage Orchid. Preservation of endangered apple varieties. Praise, O oh Holy Father. Give me more. I had to come and visit their um, little boys and hide in the little priest holes. Cider making and apple blending. Sugar, tannins, and acid values given per single apple. Nobby, <laughs> Nobby, Davenet, Foxwell, Brown Snout, Pitts, Mason, Pine, Cat's Head, Kingston Black, Greenups, Pippin, Lord Beckover, Seymour's Delight, Bitters, Green Streak, Millen's Mist. Okay, but what's that got to do with anything? Look at all the apples. I'm grinding apples. But for the the. Okay, side apples. I don't know what the apples were for. Let's go back. We haven't found any seeds for these things yet either. Come on. I'm sure I could fit through the tree. I'm only a, like a, a small 50 something year old. Dearest Arabella, how are you getting on in your garden? I hope it's not getting to be too much for you on your own these days. A mutual friend mentioned you had been struggling to germinate the ash plum. Plume? Have you tried making sure there is fresh compost in the pot? Stubborn seeds often need that to grow. I'll visit you sometime and perhaps I can find a way to crack the seed for you. I can show you the book I've been working on at the same time. Yours sincerely, Charles Tuckesk. Okay, so the ash plum's got to do with the apples, I'm guessing. That's for the pixie tears. 
I'm not even doing ash plum. Oh, so that one. Was I supposed to have... Wait, what? Was I supposed to have come further through? Notes on soil additives. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I've found the following amounts to work best with my different pots. Okay. Hmm. Have a look. Okay, this is flower is closely associated with orchids, so it's got to do with the apple. Apple blending, cider apple, hot notes. Maybe. Chloroplast, the mica slides. Okay. We need to do the soil. But which one? say in it. Let's go back to the, the things for a second. Where is it up here? Perfect for preparing microscript slides. Okay. This one. So what we're looking for, the... Okay, so that's what the chloroplast look like. And we are doing... Box glove. Wait, what does it look like again? Like... Yeah, soccer ball. Is that like super specific? That would be the closest to it, yeah? Primrose. But what do I do then? Chloroplast, it needs sugar. You think? tells us what they look like so we need lots of sugar and less tannins or a low what is tannins we need high sugar but low in acids at least what's tannins can you look up what tannins is for me I'm thinking we might need the knobby, unless tannins is good. <laughs> well, that doesn't really help much. 
All right, what? Yeah, but I'm doing apples. It just tells me. Okay, so that's just how much binding it does. Am I trying to bind it? Maybe? Okay, what about... What about the bitter green streak then? What does the bitter green streak look like? This one, yeah, this one. So I want it sweet though. So I don't want something with tannin in it. What are doing it again? Pick. Right. We'll, we'll try one. Let's have a look. We'll come back and do it again if I have to. Let me let me take that one off then. I need something with low for both. Alright, well then I think it's the knobby then. What does the knobby look like? This this weird one. Plus it's got all the knobs on it. I don't think that worked. No. Okay. Um try again. Okay, um... Maybe it's too much sugar? Tried Lord Peckover. This one? Wait. No, that's the more. This one. Unless I'm supposed to be using more than one. Let's go and read that, that note again. There was a note that sort of talked about popping us to it. Where was that note? Yeah. Oh no, that was for the other one then. Wolf love. Doing wolf love either. Where was it? It was here. Time. Better adapted to sugar is truly resistant. Therefore, we're going to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cold flame. How much sugar do I need? I don't want primrose. Okay, it's not a not a chloroplast then. So it doesn't need sugar, so I need low sugar. What's the lowest in sugar? What about fox whelp. Alright, let's try that one. Fox whelp. This one? Oh, 
I am lost. Unless it's not meant to be the pixie tears right now, and it's supposed to be the um the other one. Just put you for now. We'll get you another one. I don't have the other C, do I? Wolf's wolf love. Mm. I only have the. Probably just dump that one for the moment. one's a tough one. All the rest were pretty simple to... Oh, at least I'm supposed to grow it first and then put it in once the seed plant's done. Am I rushing myself? Have a look. Oh, I am. Okay. That was really silly. <laughs> okay. Now let's have a look. Not a chloroplast, so we don't want something with too much sugars, or we want something with sugar. I don't know whether we should. Let's try with fox whelp first, and then if not, we'll try the knobby. The fox whelp. Which one was that one again? Fox whelp. That one. The snow white looking one. Okay, um, then we want nubby, nubby. We're just going to try them all. Eventually one of them's going to be the right one. <laughs> I feel like I've missed or not understood a thing. I might even be meant to be using more than one apple. Look, there's more apples here. Alright, let's have a quick another look around. mosaic do for us? What, is that how many apples I need or is it just showing us an apple tree? Why did I need to know about the priest holes? Is that just so I can find somewhere? Lady Arabella, I have received your request for repairs to the roof of your garden tower. Alas, I must confess that I am not the man to undertake this task. I may have escaped your notice that the tower in your orchid is known to locals as the Turbulent Tower. It is believed that a poltergeist dwells within its walls. The legend says that the spirit is evil and brings ferocious winds upon anyone who dares enter the tower. I don't want to provoke the wrath, wrath, wrath of this ghost, and I advise you to refrain from meddling with the tower. Willy the Builder. <laughs> Show the recipe. This is it. We have the apple blending, the cider apples, the pot notes, the chloroplast book. Oh, wait, the pot notes. Um, where was it? So the pot notes might be wrong. Can I? No, it's already in here. So it must have been right, right? Pot notes. That's the shape of our pot, yeah? 97 grams. Okay, um, let me try that again. Okay. 
Wait, I went I'm going too far. Wrong way. This way. 97 grams of sugar. So uh, we're gonna have to get our math on. 40. 66. 70. No. We need 97. I need to make 97 grams worth of sugar. So I need to work out which combination of apples I need. 30. Sixty-five, seven. Okay, what if I don't do that one? Okay, twenty-seven. Fifty-seven. Okay, we need the Nobby Russet, Cat's Head, and the Merlin's Bits. Let's try that. Nobby Russet. Cat's head. Nobby Russet. Cat's head. This one. And what did I say that last one was? Merlin's Mist. It's blue one. Oh, lots of butterflies! Pretty! Hey! <laughs> Pixie tears no longer contain chloroplasts, which are organelles responsible for photosynthesis. Instead, the pixie tears obtain sugar through their roots, which is commonly... which... which it commonly finds in the apples from orchids. Yeah! Let's go take it in. Look at all the butterflies! Nice. I wonder if I should be taking these back. I wish there was somewhere I could display them properly. Alright, now let's go to that other one. I'm a little peggish, eh? Hey? Maybe I should have cooked more garlic bread. Okay, let's have a look at the other one now. We're doing the wolf glove. We have the letter from the builder and the nursery rhyme. We're going to head this way because we're finished over there. This is the tower I was getting fixed. So pretty. One day I want to travel somewhere like this. Ooh, that's creepy. Anemone... Anemometer? Anemometer? What a weird word. Anemometer. Ooh, we're going up. Okay, I'm guessing I need to work out what, I'm probably going to need to bring it here to Grove, but I'm going to know what height it is to be at. So let's head up this way, see if we can find any more stuff. The Mountaineer's Guide to Alpine Exploration. Be sure to wear the correct gear when climbing, the winds in the Alps can be fierce and Changeable, change, changeable. What a, what? It's advised to wear thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots with a good grip. 
Wind speed and pressure in the Alps by location. Mont Blanc, Matterhorn, Tungfrau, Zugspitz, Eiger, Watzmann, Mount Weisshorn, Triglav, Gran Paradiso, Mount Bentu. Okay, we need to find where it was growing. A tower wind research test. Wind speed of 35 on third floor, wind speed of 50 on the second. Oh, it shows us how to open it. Wind speed of 45, wind speed of 20, wind speed of 40, 25. Okay. Somehow my inimitter broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. Okay. Well, we got that, but we don't have the seeds yet, do we? Orangery. Where is the orangery? So if it's here. Ah, oh, this is the orangery. Did I not get seeds? Unless it's here. Ouch. Lady Arabella, as you can see, the staircase of the orangery collapsed in your absence. I have already ridden to the builder in the hope he wants to sort it out. Though, as you know, he can be difficult to pin down. I do apologize if this is getting in the way of your research. I don't suppose you could find another way into the bottom level. What do we get a key for? Painting room. Okay, I know where that is. To the painting room. You can go this way, it's faster. That's probably why they gave me this extra shortcut. Aha! Oh, nice. Oh, look. We now have a floor plan. So, my map then. Should be filled in mostly. There's 13. Being up there. Okay, no. That one, we're doing the wolf. Let's look here. My dearest Arabella in Gardens Fair, you grace the scene, a flower rare. Your presence beams with radiant light, a lily's charm so pure and white. Your hands like petals, soft and fine, in tender touch a love divine. And in your eyes, a brilliance glows as daisies fair in springs. Suppose, oh, how I long to have you near, to cherish you, my heart sincere. Like lo roses freshly cut, you'd be the trophy of my home with glee. So someone loved me and I said no. Meadow Orchid Research Team, 1862. Professor John Montague, Anne Montague, Robert Brown, and Arabella Green. Dear Miss Green, your research proposal on the structure of coastal plants was of quaint interest. We have no plans to fund a small project like this, but perhaps if you are set on botanical field work, you might assist Professor Montague in his work on British meadow orchids. I'm sure your natural aptitude for domestic duties would be much appreciated. Might I also recommend John Lindley's book, Ladies Botany, or a familiar introduction to the study of the natural system of botany. It is an elementary book for unscientific readers, and one I have heard is suitable amusement for ladies such as yourself, being about a mother who wishes to teach her children about plants, respectively, J.W. Surtees. God, these guys are all assholes. Let the lady plant some plants. Flower painting... Like, that, that doesn't make sense to me why we can't plant like it's gardening has always been deemed as a female activity but you can't do it seriously you can't study it <laughs> symbology a study wherein the discerning reader will find a story of the use of religious and folkloric system symbols throughout the art of the world i had the worst time trying to read that symbology Symbology, it says. It's literally a B. Did I say P? What? 
religious symbols Triskelion, Neolithic, Taijitu, Taoism. Oh, Sympology. Star and Crescent, Islam, Wheel of Dharma, Buddhism, Star of David, Judaism, Agnes Day, Catholic. Clack. Oh, we know this. This religious symbol. Catholic Catholicism. Catholicism. These words are weird. Om. Hinduism, Ik Onka, Sikhism, but we know it's the Agnes Day. We've already seen that particular um, symbol inside the house. Lady Arabella, I was wondering if I could join Mr. Bennett into town later this afternoon to place an order for a new kitchen scale. The one we have is rather ancient, and I'm afraid it's not suitable for measuring flour to make my delicious scones. You could let me know your decision before the afternoon. That'd be lovely. In your service. This is Patterson. Okay, what did that give us? These ones. Oh, wait, I was supposed to be finding another way downstairs, wasn't I? Have a look. Is there another? the way in. Oh, behind that door. Where was that? Where did I see it? Where were we? was I when I saw that symbol? Yeah. Blessed is the kitchen by grace and holy light may all this come. But I, I BBT. Let's try that upstairs. I could be very wrong, but Okay, there's only three letters. Uh there's only it only goes up to I. What was my name? Arabella. Mary. Oh, there's no M, so it can't be my name. There's a false wall somewhere, but where? Outside somewhere? Got a key for anywhere or use it already? I could probably click it, but I'm just using my hands. It was going a circle. Here is that below. Down here. It is down here somewhere. I 
am I missing? Oh, to Arabella Green, Bodney Manor, Somerset. From Nessie Golding. Dearest Arabella, we made it to the Alps. We are so, so, so sad that you couldn't join us this time, but we understand you were busy creating your herbarium. Yesterday we were lost on a hike until suddenly we heard a strange whistling tune. We followed the sound and soon enough we discovered it. Coming from a tiny flower. If only you had been there to tell us what kind of flower it was. Your loving friend, always Natty. Well, that's... That's just sad. I need to get down to the orange area though. I can see it's got to do with that mark, but where is that? It's gotta be in the kitchen. It's the goat thing. One that looks like that. Remember the year of construction for this, friends, is the key. The sheep and the flag. Oh, there it is. But what do we do with it? The year of construction, so I've got to put it here. of the house or something else eighteen something that was in that guide we read where was it painting room I don't know what the house, when the house was reconstructed, uh, when the house was constructed. Fifteen ninety three, maybe. Let's try that. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Oh, I wonder if this is the priest's hole. I'm not reading. My Lord Grain, thou hast ventured mightily in granting me refuge within these walls. And for such favour I remain eternally indebted to thee. The cunning of little John in his establishment of this sanctuary doth inspire all. A saint he is to our brethren and sisters who have sought refuge from the harsh rule of Queen Elizabeth and King James. Pray extend my gratitude unto thy cook for the sustenance provided, a welcome respite from Brother M Michael's oft repeated fare of leeks and potatoes. What? Huh? Huh. With the most earnest of thanks, I retreat and treat that this missive shall not mark our final communion and that our faith must endure unbroken. <laughs> Yours with devotion, R. Blount. Cool, we found a dead person's place. What's with the ducks? We found three ducks now. They quack me up. Finally, we got the seed. Okay.
Lady Mountaineers Club, first outing, 1858. Medallions. Souvenir de Mon Ascension. The Eiffel Paris. First summit. Ooh, you know this one? That was the one on the on the what's it called? The the envelope. Switzerland. Wisshon, okay. So we know it was in Switzerland. I think we need to see the rest. We know Switzerland is what the wind is we need for Switzerland. Okay, okay, um back this way. No? What what? Don't look at the bin. All correspondence to the above address. Society, Society for Botanical Science meets every second and fourth Wednesday from six o'clock at the assembly rooms in Stroud. Prospective applicant must be supported by three existing gentlemen of the society, along with evidence of research showing his dedication to the advancement of the science of botany. Widows of existing fellow receive honorary membership to attend annual social events. This month's lecture is on the importance of laboratory investigation. Okay. So I'm guessing we really, really try to um, join this thing. Like, I feel like I would have given up. 30th July, 1862. Today marks the beginning of an intriguing adventure as a John Professor John Montague, join, sorry, not John, join Professor John Montague, his wife Anne Montague and fellow botanist Robert Brown on our field trip to study British me meadow orchids. Everyone's enthusiasm for the subject is infectious. 3rd of August, 1852. Beth has no fury like woman's gone. Yep, yeah, she did. Today, Professor Montague gathered all of us to examine a southern marsh orchid. Though upon arrival, I noticed it had a much more hooded appearance and could be a new species entirely. I pointed this out. Professor Montague laughed and explained he was simply testing us. Hmm. Really? I'm going to repair the stairs myself? <laughs> okay. Need you. What are you? Yes. And now we needed for... What did I say? Or was a Watsman? Yeah, no, I am the area. What did she say? No, no, on the thing, sorry. Switzerland. Weisshorn. So, Weisshorn. My son, Mount Weisson is 40. So we, 40 there. Okay, so we need the top one closed, the second, uh, second and third open completely, and the bottom one, only one of them open. I'll come back. Oh, oh no, I'll bring it with me. There's me coming back. This one, I only had one open. Fine. Both open. Wasn't it? Closed. Both open, both open. Oh, I didn't mean to go down. There was five in total. Top closed, two open fully, then closed, and then one open. Look at its holes. It reminds me of that, um, the guy in Hunter Hunter. 
Uh-huh. Nice. Oh, I didn't want to go up. Oh, it's whistling and everything. We got a delivery. Let's see what the delivery is and then work out what the next two plants are and then we'll finish it there for the night. There shouldn't be a whole heap more. We'll probably finish it on Friday. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. One more. Nope, two more. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to hold it down. <laughs> That's frustrating. Look, I've got my whistling flower. It's very pretty. Look at it. Okay, let's put you in here with the rest. Should bring my other plant up here. when I come back this way. Okay. Dear sister, I am so glad to hear you have returned safely from your travels. While you're away, I changed the code for the library door lock each time I visited, as I know some of grandmother's valuable items are kept in the secret vault. The new code for the door is the three initials of my name to make it easy for you to remember. I hope we can meet soon. I look forward to hearing all about your adventures. Your loving sister Elizabeth. Okay. We can look at the um What do you need a secret vault for in a library? Like what are you hiding? What information do you have that you don't want people to see? Yeah, the family tree. Now, we should go by her maiden name, yeah? E A G or E A H. E A H. Let's try that one first. Okay. Went by her um her married name. Thank you card. I keep going the wrong way. Dear Lady Green, thank you kindly for the flower book books you sent for my daughters. To this day, they still show an interest in learning more about plants and painting. I'm keen that my daughters have access to a good education, so I hope you don't mind me putting it upon you that might be able to teach them somehow. That you might be able to teach them somehow. Your dedication and knowledge seems so rare and inaccessible elsewhere for young girls like mine. I hope you will consider my proposal. Sincerest regards, Olive Campbell. Seriously, the view is so nice. That is locked. Oh, there's a wall there. Oh, look at that. Four new plants. Okay, this is a good spot to stop. I'm very excited. This has been very fun. What are the plants that we will look at on Friday? We have... Nightfall, Lilium Hesperides, hus, Hesperides or Hesperides, Sapphire Gloom, Sa, Sacerella Corulia, Cradle Fern, Blechnum Nidus, and Brook Chalice, Ranunculus Pandetus. Okay. Oh, all the clues I find at the end. Oh. Look at it was. Okay. Well, let's save. Now save now, nice. What a cute game. 
The puzzles aren't overly hard apart from that one where I just, I totally forgot. I definitely rushed through and collected too much information at once and then forgot what I was looking at. I'll go through slower and try and piece stuff, even maybe if I take some notes. 